Good day, students. Welcome to the number 13 of our review on proof by mathematical induction. Remember to go to math.serve.com for a wide collection of um, math tutorials. If you need um, more clips on mathematical induction, just simply go on the pre-calculus. Before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at the plan of attack um, for this problem. Um, so when you're when you're um, carrying out a proof on mathematical by mathematical induction, the the proof can be broken down into three plans that will be highlighted um, in this plan below. So part number one involves something known as a base case. Okay. Um, for the problem I will be working on, this we are going to be showing that the statement is true for all positive integers. So, so for the base case. We're going to pick the smallest positive integer, which is uh, n equals 1. Okay, so for the base case, you have to show um, that n equals 1 is true. That's for um, positive integers. The second part of the proof by induction is the inductive hypothesis. All right, inductive hypothesis, you just make an assumption. Uh, for inductive hypothesis, you just basically assume that um, that if a, that n equals k is true for some um, k in the set of uh, positive integers. Okay, and then lastly, the third part is known as the inductive inductive step. Okay, the inductive step. So for an in inductive step, we're basically going to show that um, n equals k is true by assumption, follows or implies that the next step, n equals k plus 1, is also true. All right? So if you can show, that, show all these three, then by induction, we can conclude that the statement is true for all um, positive integers. All right? So let's go ahead and write down the problem. Uh, problem 13. So for number 13, um, we are to uh, prove that prove that um, the statement 10 to the first plus 10 to the second plus 10 to the third plus dot 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 plus 10 to the nth power is equal to 10 over 9 times 10 to the n minus 1 for all uh, positive integers, okay? For all positive integers n. So that's what we are to prove by induction, okay? Now, um, let's go ahead and start our proof. Part 1 is the base case. So let's go ahead and work on the base case. So for the base case, remember we have to show um, show that n equals 1 is true. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. What I'll do is I'll plug in 1 into the left-hand side and the right-hand side of my equation and see if I end up with a true statement. Okay? So on the left-hand side, this term right here, 10 to the n is a generator of the terms of, on the left side, and I just have to add them all up. Okay? So for n equals 1, we're just going to look at the first term, which is 10 to the first power. So the question is, is 10 to the first power, is it equal to 10 over n times 10 to the, remember, remember n is 1, 10 to the 1 minus 1. Is this equal to that? Well, 10 to the first power is just 10. So let's go ahead and uh, simplify the right side as much as we can. So we have 10 over n. 10 to the first power is just 10 minus 1 is 9. These two divide out to 1. So it's 10 equals 10. Absolutely. So we can see that our base case is sound. Now let's move on to the second part of our proof by induction, which is the um, inductive hypothesis. All right, we're going to be making an assumption here. So for part two, our inductive inductive hypothesis. We're going to make an assumption, okay? We're going to assume that um, 
n equals k is true. Okay, so how do we do that? What we'll just simply do is we'll write the original statement, substituting k for anywhere we see n, all right? So we'll just rewrite this entire equation and then replace this n with k, and replace that n with k, and assume that that statement is true for some k in the set of positive integers, okay? So for part two, we're gonna assume, assume that uh, 10 to the one plus 10 to the second power plus 10 to the third power plus dot 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 plus instead of 10 to the nth power we have 10 to the kth power is equal to 10 over 9 times instead of 10 to the n minus 1 it'll be 10 to the k minus 1. So we're going to assume that this statement is true is true for some uh, k in the set of positive integers, in a set of positive integers. All right. So we have the inductive hypothesis completed. Now the next part, the inductive step, which is a more complicated part of the proof, inductive step, uh, we have to show show that n equals k is true implies that the next step on both sides n equals k plus 1 is also true. All right, so the question is if I advance the left side by one to the next term, does the right side also advance by one also? That's that's the bottom line, okay? So um, to do this, what we'll do is we'll start with the left side of our um, equation for the assumption, and then we're gonna add the next term, okay? So we have 10 to the one plus 10 to the second plus 10 to the third plus dot, 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 plus 10 to the k. The next term is what? is 10 to the k plus 1. All right. So I, I advance this side by k plus 1. So does that result in this side advancing to k plus 1 also? That's the question. All right. So let's look at the left side of this expression. This entire component of this expression is equal to what? Based on our assumption, inductive hypothesis, we made an assumption that this entire term is the same thing as 10 to the 10 over n times 10 to the k minus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, write what it is here. So that's equal to 10 over n times 10 to the k minus 1. And then we add this last term plus 10 to the k plus 1. And this is by our assumption. Okay, so let's go ahead and write make the notation here by assumption assumption in um, part uh, two. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and simplify this. So this is my goal. Okay, let me write down what my goal is. Um, my goal is I want this entire thing to become this term, but with this replaced with uh, 10 to the k plus one. Let me write it here so um, that you can see this is a scratch work. Okay, so my goal is I want to simplify this entire expression to become 10 over n times 10 to the n, actually we do it with k's here, so 10 to the k plus 1 minus 1, okay? If I, if I can accomplish this, then I'm done. It's always good to have your goal in sight because um, it's easier for you to manipulate your expression if you know what you your intended uh, result looks like, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Use some of the properties of algebra to basically manipulate this into that. Um, if you notice, this has 10 to the 9 in front, so I would like to um, factor out 10 to the 9 from this, this expression here, from both sides um, of this expression. So to make it easy to factor, there, there I can make this 
let me just make it obvious what I'm about to do, okay? So I'll have 10 over 9 here times 10 to the k minus 1 plus, I'm going to multiply this expression by 1, okay? But I'm going to use a, a weird variation of 1. I'm going to multiply this expression by 10 over 9 times 9 over 10. What is 10 over 9 times 9 over 10? It's 1, right? Because the 10s divide out on the 9s, okay? So that's times 10 to the k plus 1. Why did I do that? I just wanted you to see the consequence of factoring out 10 over 9 from both sides of these two terms, all right? So um, if I factor out 10 over 9, this 10 over 9 here and that 10 over 9 here, what will I be left with? I'll be left with, um, so let's put a 10 over 9 on the outside, factor it out. So 10 over 9, and then we'll have um, 10, 10 to the k minus 1, okay? Factor it out, plus this 10 over 9 has been factored out. So you're just left with 9 over 10 times 10 to the k plus 1. All right, let's go ahead and close that. Okay, so we have the 10 over 9 factored out, which is nice. So let's simplify um, the interior. This term we have in the parentheses. So let's see, we have um, 10 over 9 times 10 to the k minus 1 plus 9 over 10. Now, what is 10 to the k plus 1? 10 to the k plus 1, if you use um, the properties of exponents, is, is the same thing as 10 to the 1 times 10 to the k, right? Remember, when you multiply exponents with the same base, what do you do with the exponents? You add them, right? So we're doing the reverse here. 10 to the 1 times 10 to the k is 10 to the k plus 1. So that follows that 10 to the k plus 1 is 10 to the 1 times 10 to the k, all right? So if you notice, this two 10s divide out. This 10 divides out here, 1, 1, 1. So we'll have... Um, this becomes 10 over 9 times, um, this is 10 to the k, right? How many 10 to the k's are there? It's just 1. So I can write this as um, 1 times 10 to the k, all right, minus 1 plus 9 times 10 to the k, okay? All right, do you see two like terms here? Absolutely. You have 1 times 10 to the k and 9 times 10 to the k. You can think about this as 1x and 9x. What is 1x plus 9x? is 10x, right? So I can combine these two to 10, um, 10, 10 to the k. All right, let me illustrate what I'm saying right here. So look at this. You have 1 times 10 to the k and then plus 9 times 10 to the k. What I'm saying is that the like, like terms, because you can think about this as 1x plus 9x, right? 1x plus 9x is 10x. So that follows that 1 10 to the k plus 9 10 to the k is simply 10 10 to the k. Okay? All right, so let's uh, apply that idea over here. If we do that, we're going to have, if we combine 1 10 to the k and 10, 9 10 to the k, the 10 over 9 on the outside, we're going to have 10 times 10 to the k minus 1, all right? Now, 10 is the same thing as 10 to the first power. If we apply the um, properties of exponent, the product property, this uh, expression can be condensed further into 10 over 9, and then that becomes 10 to the what? 10 to the k plus 1, okay? Minus 1, and that's exactly what we want, all right? That's, that's our goal right there. Let's look at our goal. 10 over 9, 10 to the k plus 1 minus 1. How do we know that's our goal? Because um, on the right side of our assumption, uh, this k plus 1, this k became k plus 1 when we advanced the left side by the to the next term. All right, so that's how we know that we're done. So let's um, go ahead and write down the, the complete equation. Um, I didn't write the left side over and over again, just to save time. So we have the situation where um, 10 to the first power plus 10 to the second power plus 
10 to the third power plus dot 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 plus 10 to the k plus the next step 10 to the k plus 1 is equal to this. All right? So that shows that um, this is also true based on our assumption. Now, um, in conclusion, let's write out a concluding remark since the statement, since the statement is true for the base case for n equals 1 and truth for n equals k follows that follows that um, n equals k plus 1 is also true. All right, then um, the statement, the statement, the original statement is true for all positive integers, okay, for all positive integers, n. All right, so let's put a box of accomplishment to show that uh, we're done with our proof. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We appreciate it. Do feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool clips such as this. And do post a comment to let us know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on mathgoodserve.com. If you want uh, induction tutorials specifically, you just go under the calculus. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.